Hi, my name is Mick West and this is a demo of the Contrail Science flight map which you can get to by clicking on this uh, image in the top left corner of Contrail Science or going directly to contrailscience.com slash map. It takes a while to load. Uh, you can see the progress indicator up here, so just give it a chance. It might take about uh, two minutes if you have a slow internet connection, but it's worth it. All right, once it's loaded, it's going to process the flights, which just takes a few seconds. You'll see things pop into existence, and then you can see uh, all the flights. This is 24 hours of recorded flight data. It doesn't cover the entire world perfectly, but it gives pretty good coverage over America and over Europe and in various other parts of the country. But uh, some parts like Africa and South America are rather spotty in terms of coverage, and India too. Uh, these are your options up here. You can expand them all and you can use the H button to toggle them on and off, which is quite convenient. Uh, very quickly going through them, you can toggle the map on and off with draw map. You can also use uh, keyboard shortcuts to do all these things. You can toggle the planes on and off. You can toggle the, <coughs> toggle the tracks. Now the tracks uh, show the everywhere that a flight has been over 24 hours. So you get this quite nice uh, grid pattern over Europe and you get the shapes of the arriving and departing flights from the airport. You can change the thickness of these lines to make it more uh, more visible. You can also turn the map off behind them and uh, just see the shape that's formed by the flight traffic, which uh, gives some quite interesting patterns. Especially you can see the entire shape of America through these flight patterns. You can see these two dark areas over here are military areas where the no commercial flights are allowed to fly over. Um, you can scroll in and out with the uh, map, with the scroll wheel on the mouse or by double clicking to scroll in. You can also use this zoom control here if you don't have a uh, scroll wheel on your mouse. Uh, the clock down here will display the time in your local uh, time. Uh, and it's just uh, 24 hours. You can turn it on and off as well. Uh, to display which areas are light or dark, you toggle the night, uh, draw night, uh, which shows you which areas are, are dark, dark and which are light. Uh, if we uh, turn off the tracks now and turn up the animation speed down here you can see very interesting tidal flows of the traffic around the world uh, you'll see the night hitting America here and things will calm down uh, you'll see Europe's pretty pretty calm too you then you'll see the red-eye traffic moving over here then you'll see the east coast explode into a flight and west coast too uh, you'll see uh, as the night hits America, all the traffic going to Europe from America leaves, goes through the night and arrives in America, in Europe. Then the next day in the morning, all the traffic from Europe comes back from Europe to America. So you've got this very interesting back and forth tidal flow uh, of traffic between the, the two continents. Uh, let me just slow that back down again. Now if we zoom in on an area like uh, California, uh, one thing we can do is change the contrail length. And this is the length of a contrail, assuming it persists for a certain number of seconds. So if we set it to about uh, 3600, that's about one hour. So this uh, is about how long a contrail would be if it persisted for one hour behind a, a typical flight. So if you look at an area like, uh, say, Northern California, uh, you can see that uh, there's a lot of flyover traffic in this area and uh, you're going to get lots of uh, contrails going north-south in other areas to get more grid-like patterns. Now, planes don't leave contrails when they're landing at an airport like uh, you see here. Uh, what we can do is filter that out by uh, changing the show above to only show flights that are above a certain altitude. So you can see here I've changed it from zero, which shows all the flights in this area, to about 30,000 feet, which is a typical level that contrails might form. But this is only showing flights that fly over a particular area, not flights that are landing. This is uh, San Francisco. 
Uh, so you can see all these flights that are arriving at San Francisco are uh, being cut off here at around the 30,000 foot level. And you can see all the flyover areas, which are the areas where you're more likely to see contrails, especially in the middle of the country where there's a lot of uh, flyover traffic and certainly over in the, the east coast and the northern part of Florida. Uh, the, this option here is HD map, which will load uh, high resolution background images uh, for the map. Uh, it will take quite a while to load the first time you load it, but uh, it's quite nice if you want to uh, take screenshots or something. Uh, let's turn this back on. Uh, another thing you can do is only show low level flights, uh, which will pretty much just show the flights around airports. Uh, if we animate that, speed that up, you see uh, all the activity around the various airports flickering on and off and speeding up as you get into the, uh, the daytime and calming down at night. Very interesting. And that's about it. Hope you enjoy it. Oh, well, just one quick thing. The flights that you see zooming over the, uh, the top of the world here aren't actually going really, really fast. It's just that because of the projection of the map, uh, they're stretched out. These are actually flights that are flying over the North Pole, over the far north of Greenland. There you go.